son of all of this. Pretty much pushing forward and giving us always some weird, interesting things popping off in the background that we probably didn't even guess was going to happen. So now that we know exactly where things are kind of headed at this point, um, I'm mainly looking forward to seeing what they're going to actually do with all these characters and what overall is the main focus of the story is going to continue to be. Because after we handle the family crisis where they're, you know, trying to pass around false rumors and stuff like that, where does it then leave us for the rest of the show when all of a sudden they may not have anybody else to kind of, uh, you know, worry about or pretty much put in the forefront of being the problem, um, I think the funny thing is about this show is our character wants to do something extremely bad but isn't capable of doing it because of the situation he's in, because of just how things work in general in this area or like in this capital and stuff like that, so it's actually pretty hilarious to see someone as powerful as he is being dictated by, you know, just the overall the higher power and not even just the higher power but him being courteous as well because you know how some people can get once all of a sudden you are put on the spot a lot of people just do as they would be expected but others would you know kind of fight and be like oh I have other things to do so I'm gonna go do that no not, not this kid <laughs> He doesn't really have that option at all, it feels like. And because of that, we're definitely seeing uh, more or less what he is capable of doing when it comes down to hearing about rumors and hearing about different people trying to spread lies. He takes it in strides, right? Like, he doesn't get too worked up, he isn't mad about it or anything along those lines. But what he isn't going to have happen is it stay true, right? Or he wasn't just going to sit quiet and idly by and let it build up when he could handle the situation on his own, um, on his own accord. So I do like that they have him kind of handling it, but at the same time, He's so busy with all the royals and the nobles that all he really has to do is send someone he trusts out to handle certain parts of it, which winds up being the son of the person who's actually um, spreading the lies. He shows up, makes it a lot more clear on how uh, everything's been working out and why it's been the way it is to put him in a position now to make you know, the right necessary steps, are you going to, you know, attack this person, are you going to try to take everything away from this person, are you going to let him do whatever he's doing for longer, like, what is the actual uh, plan of handling this person, and when you figure it out, who's actually going to be the one to do it, you know, so, it's interesting to see these things play out, I'm definitely, uh, looking forward to seeing what the show becomes towards the end of the season like what are they going to be doing what is going to be the main focus of them and the group and whatnot but at the end of the day I can definitely wait and get to my answer whenever because like I've noticed with a lot of shows lately the more that they start to get to the end and start rushing the faster it starts to I realize anyway that other stuff could have happened or other stuff could have been brought up and made the story last a little bit longer so I have no problem wanting or waiting for another season if that's when stuff is going to explode off and stuff like that but at the end of the day I definitely just want to see uh, some cool stuff pop off I want to see what our characters are capable of um, 
Not only that, I want to see what these noble people are always doing. Anytime there's nobles in an anime, I always seem to hate them. Like, there's no... There's, like, always no reason to like nobles, which is unfortunate, man. Like, they just always are doing something not worth... Uh, not worth cheering for them about, you know? Like, I think they like it. I think all anime creators that do that to the noble people really do like it and it makes sense because there's a high class there's a low class and when you get to the point where you know just how certain people will act just because of their unfortunate or lower lower fortunate you know uh, people around them then you can make your characters do whatever they want and that's kind of how these people come off is Oh, we we are high up and we are the greats while you guys are just here like eh, you guys are lucky to even be in our presence or be alive type of people so we'll see how they handle all this um, with the golems and all that stuff from the dungeon they didn't really even show us anything uh, that they did with all that stuff they found right like the teleporter they showed that but outside of the teleporter and the little bit we already knew about it, they didn't really expand on anything uh, that was in the dungeon, right? Like, they didn't just go and sh actually tell us what they found or what um, everything they're going to do with the, the stuff they found. They kind of just gave us a broad example of what was going to happen and what was going to be going on. So, regardless, hopefully they kind of don't do that for the rest of the times. Because, I mean, I get why they do it. Because it's just a whole bunch of animation and work they have to do to get the characters from one place to another. Um, but they could at least show us what they thought about the items inside of there when they were first looking at it. And not only what they thought about it, what they could have possibly did with it and why did they have to give it all <laughs> to um, you know the higher ups and stuff like that so we'll see how all this turns out I'm definitely interested in seeing what you guys are feeling about the 8th son I know a lot of people are annoyed at some of the characters and some people really like the show it's got it's got kind of a mixed review, which is interesting to see as well. I thought this show would be a little bit more of a like a love or hate type of thing, or you really like it or you really don't. But for right now, it feels like there's a lot of people that are uh, both sides of the fence. But it's definitely like I just hate this character. Or I I think this person's annoying. Like. I'm guessing now people have another character to be annoyed with, with this girl who loves to eat, so there you go, there's just, there's just a lot of things that continue to happen in this show, and I don't think every single person cares for the same stuff, which is fine, um, it's just that there's not a lot to go off of when it comes down to this new character they just, uh, invited in, right, like, like, okay, okay, here's another character, and this character, right, she's stronger than all the other characters you got by your side, <laughs> not only is she stronger than them, she has the ability to, um, not the ability, but her life is, like, just magic, like, her whole entire way of using magic is to have it circulating through her body at all times, thus meaning she's ridiculously powerful even when she's trying not to be and the only way for her to be um, alive and well is to replenish herself with ridiculous amounts of food and we spend the whole episode watching her sneak it around seeming really really uh, you know like a dangerous person I guess you can say and come to find out she's really not all that dangerous <laughs> she just really was stalking our character to learn if 
he can actually cook and uh, suffice for eating habitats because not only does she smell the fatty tuna, she absolutely picks up a ginormous tuna and rips it in half just so they can, uh, well, for one thing, they can prove their point on how strong she is, and on the other point, they could just prove the point of, uh, she probably ate that whole tuna to herself, right? Like, she probably had that thing pepper prepared, and she ate it herself, while other people are sharing a couple of the tunas all together, so... We'll see how this all turns out. I'm definitely interested in the eighth sun and just where it's going to end up at the end of the season and what else shows are going to drop here and there. So every time a show starts coming closer and closer to an end, you got to remember that there's either something about to replace it or because of the time uh, period that we're in, maybe we won't get a replacement as quickly or we will and it won't be an anime that's been promoting nearly as much as um, you know shows that we expect to come. for instance Attack on Titan or you know Baki Baki is coming out like the 6th of next month and there isn't like really any advertisement for it so it's just going to be one of those shows that just pop up out of nowhere and people are like oh my god it's Baki I should watch this second season or third season excuse me so we will see how things pop off. Thank you guys so much for the support. I got to get ready for work and everything like that. So I will definitely um, be keeping my eye out on Twitter and um, just on different shows being announced and stuff like that. Trailers uh, for whatever we're going to have to start watching sooner than later. So with all that being said, everybody, I hope you have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're watching this. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will definitely talk to you sooner than later. So with that being said, take care, everybody, and peace.